It's fridge cam al fresco. Absolutely. We should do more fridge cam in the sun. It's quite well, nice. Yeah, but we don't have much sun. That's, that's why. The world population continues to increase. Yes. Therefore, we are going to need to find more food. Yes. Or more efficient ways to produce more nutritious food. Yes. Or minimise waste. Yes. This might be the solution. Should we be eating more insects? Should... Pardon. Hold your hand okay. out. There's something weighty to put in it. You oh. might need two hands. Oh. oh, oh. There we go. Okay. All of that there... Yes. ...is relative of what I want to demonstrate. So, for every 400 grams of steak... Yes. ...two rump steaks... A cow would have to eat this much food. That's quite a lot of food. For every 400 grams of beef. Okay. However, if I take all of this away from you, just give you this. Yes. That's all that's required for a cricket to produce the same weight. So 400 grams of edible crickets only needs that much food. Much more efficient. That's much more efficient. How good does a cricket taste with Bernays sauce? I was going to put this to the test. Okay. And, and feed you some insects. I haven't, I haven't got the Bernays. Well, I mean, with a good steak, you don't really need to do too much to it, do you? Just salt it. Just salt it. And we know what a good steak tastes like. Yes. Do you know what a good cricket tastes like? So bear in mind, there are 2,000 edible species of insect. These are just three of them. Would you like to try one, Mike? Oh, you can't just bring me into this now. <laughs> You've got a grasshopper. Do you, want a, do you want a beetle or do you want a worm? I'm going for a worm. I think the only way that we're going to be able to eat these is through role play. So, Timon, play. Timon, <laughs> Simba, Pumba, Hakuna Matata. Three, two, one. Oh, he's wriggly. Salty. You get the salt. He's wriggly. I'm quite dry. Oh, man. And a bit like bomb, oh. bomb Oh dear. Oh. It's quite bitter. Oh, that is. Oh, oh dear. I feel like a Bernays sauce <laughs> might have helped it. <coughs> Can you be allergic? Maybe what we need to do is, is actually grind them up and put them into something. Because they are high in protein. They are high in loads of nutrients. That would be better. They have uh, omega-3, they're good, good oils as well. They are nutritionally sound. <coughs> so can these solve world hunger? If we were desperate. I've got a story of the week. It's not common of the week, it's a story of the week. And please, 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 can we have the jingle? Well, stop saying stupid things like, theming them every week maybe you get one huh i've just said so if anyone's to blame Pumba. <laughs> <laughs> i've got a great story of the week tell this me week. so we got a facebook message uh, last week from uh, tina tina hillier who says um uh, I know you guys are extraordinarily busy, but I wanted to ask a wee favour. Four years ago, I met my best friend. He lives in India, and I live in Canada. We connected over our love for food and chatted long into the night of things we like to cook. He basically taught me how to cook Indian food over the internet. Over the time, we realised we had something magical, and we fell in love. He was the one who introduced me to you boys and the fabulous things we do, don't worry about that. This week, I'm travelling to India, and we are going to be married on Saturday the 14th. All I was hoping for was a blessing from the sorted boys in a future fridge cam. I'm Tina, and he's Jerry. Uh, we would love to have a sorted wedding wish. Oh, oh wow. How amazing is that? That That's is amazing. so cool. Food can bring people together. Food is love. Best wishes to the pair of you. Yes. Um, I hope you had a very, very special day. Congratulations, Tina and Jerry. Mike, do you want to say anything? Tina, Jerry, just thanks for sharing this really brilliant, beautiful story with us. We're really glad that you found each other. Um, yeah, all the best, and hope you have the best day of your entire lives. Congratulations. Tenuous link here. Chinese New Year, this year, Year of the Goat. Okay. Let's do the charts of the best recipes that have been uploaded to the app that have goat cheese in it. If you've got a goat recipe, please upload it because your chance might be here next year. In 12 years time. <laughs> <laughs> so number five, we have Isabel Morgan's goat's cheese and broccoli cannelloni. Oh, that yes. That is a cracking photo, You've got loads of likes. Position number four. Sexy roasted butternut squash and goat's cheese by RM Marv27 from Plymouth. There we go. And I think the word sexy says it all. In third place, we have Emily Rose Stevenson's with bruschetta. And she says you can use any kind of cheese, but she loves goat's cheese. I had bruschetta last night. Is that missing... when you were treating your missus to her birthday? Yeah, it was missing a bit of sauce, if I'm honest. Okay. Not the evening, the, the <laughs> bruschetta. Okay. Yeah. In number two, butternut squash, goat's cheese, and pom soup. Goat's cheese and pomegranate soup. That sounds amazing. So it's Nathan an Metcalf. Awesome butternut squash soup, oh. but creamy goat's cheese, pomegranate. Oh. It looks like some herbs. It's incredible. I want that on my chest. And in position number one, the beetroot and goat cheese tart, also by Isabel Morgan. I hadn't noticed that. Wow. I Isabel, Isabel loving her goat's cheese. She loves goat's cheese. But you know what? If the photos are that good and they're getting that many likes, 
That is a classic combination as well. Fifth and first in the charts. Well done, Isabel. Keep uploading because we have no idea what the tenuous link <laughs> next week will be. Um, and also, when you're there on Salty um, Food, you don't have to just upload. You no? can like everybody else's oh. and push their votes to the top two. I think I will be doing that. There have been three other videos this week, uh, and I think you should go and watch them. But here are three reasons why we should watch each video in three words. Ben. Uh, Beaver Tales on Tuesday. Canadian. Sweet fried dough. Twerking. Oh dear, yes. Sweet fried dough is not one word. But I just held up one finger to represent it. Fruit gums? Fruit gums. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for intense innuendo pocket. Oh. Intense innuendo pocket? Oh. <laughs> oh I think I know what you're referencing. <laughs> but if I'm honest, I haven't seen the fine length of that video and I'm scared. On Thursday, we had Chinese steamed sea bream. Fishy. Veggie. Yeah. Not vegetarian, but with veggies, yeah. Fragrant. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Don't miss out. What a week. What a week. I have a funny feeling next week's going to be bigger. Do you know why? I, I do know why. On Tuesday, we're not launching a video. We're not launching two videos either. We're going to launch three videos. That'll be a fun test. Will you watch them? <laughs> Make sure you do. We'll see you next week.